Hello and welcome to the Leading Past the Anti-Sales Department Micro Simulation. I'm Rob and I will be your coach during the simulation experience. In this simulation, you are taking over the role as a senior leader of ABC Manufacturing. You are the head of Business Unit 2 and are responsible for the execution of the corporate and business unit strategy. In this role, you are leading a cross-functional team comprised of sales, marketing, R&D, engineering, manufacturing, supply chain management, and finance. Your parent company, ABC Manufacturing, is struggling to meet its business objectives. ABC has three business units. One of them is stuck in a commoditized market. One is trying to be customer-centric and customize everything to their customers. And you are in the innovative business unit, trying to develop new products faster and better than your competitors. Your business unit has been trying to transform its value proposition to become a product leader to its customers, but is struggling with that goal. Sales in your business unit have been declining and one of your top sales professionals has been working on a new deal for several months. This could be one of the biggest deals in the history of the company. It's a challenging deal because it's pushing the limits on the current capabilities and technical knowledge of your business and teams. Everyone is frustrated, anxious, and afraid of the unknown. Your lead sales professional, responsible for this deal, has received a verbal agreement from the customer to go ahead and start working on the contract and other paperwork, which means this is 99% done. It's now time for the hard work to be done by your R&D, manufacturing, and supply chain departments to go from a big idea to actually getting paid for delivery to the customer. Let's go meet with your team to see what they have to say. Hey boss, how's it going? Listen, you know that I have been here for more than 15 years and that I know what I'm talking about. Heck, I was here when we invented our first product. I get that we are under pressure financially and trying to get new innovative products to market. We just don't have the resources to move at this fast pace. I don't think we can do this. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. We have a strategy, we have a plan, we are struggling to compete and all I deal with is the anti-sales department in my own company. It's so easy to sit back here and say no. These people don't get that it's a knife fight out here in the real world. I am running up against competitors who have 90% of our quality at 50% of the price and the only thing we can do, be more innovative, is something that people around here don't want to work hard for. Come on people, we need to figure this out. It doesn't really matter to me. I will make whatever they tell me to make. Is it going to work? Well, that's up to our geniuses in R&D and engineering. If you ask me, I am happy just making the old stuff and selling the hell out of it like the good old days. Oh, here we go again. Super Salesman is making promises to customers that we just can't keep. I check my reality distortion meter on my smartwatch, and it's registering a high score of 10.0. Nobody has ever done this technology. Why does anybody think we can? At the end of the day, you all can promise whatever you want, but I won't be able to source the raw materials to make this happen. Sometimes it's better to just tell the customer no and then come back for another time. So what do you do? Knowing that this is a significant and pivotal point in the history of the company and your career, you want to find a way to influence the team to see the positive take the risk and feel engaged enough to make it happen. If that can't occur, then you either must find an alternative plan or pass on this opportunity until the next one comes along. You can ask as nice as you want. You can even get down on your hands and knees and beg. It's not going to change the fact that I won't be able to find materials to do this. Hey boss, I am still very worried that we are going to let the customer down. I just don't see how we are going to be able to do this. I really think we need to tell the customer no. 
I get it that you want to do this. It's just not realistic. Now we are going to have to hire different manufacturing people, and with our HR function, that will take months. Excellent. Thank you so much for trying. I think your talk with everyone went well, but I don't think your power of persuasion is going to change anything. If we can't get the team to go along with us, I know we can call Missy Gupta over at Global Resources and outsource everything. Seriously, no problem. They have the capability and a great attitude. They actually want the business and want to do cutting edge work. Congratulations, you have completed the micro simulation. To view your scores and feedback, click on the next button.